Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrex. And of course, welcome to what was once going to be one video, but instead is going to be a more light-hearted video. So originally, I was planning on making this video into finally building the blocks needed for our sky base. But after realizing that components take certain resources that you can't get from scrapping enemies because they always have that resource in components, I had to build all of this. It's very simple. It's just a little component factory section here here, which will also take certain components from the main assembly line. It's all nice and simple, it's also incredibly dull, and a lot of it's going to be off camera, so hopefully in the next video I can showcase everything working and everything fine. So instead, what I would like to do today, since I'm finally back from my break, I took an extended birthday break seeing all the family and all the friends, I want to destroy enemy techs, but I want to do it in a fun way. Now, in the previous video, or at least not the previous campaign video, but just regular video, we have been messing around with the hover bug, which now is far, far more powerful. Some would say overpowered. I think it's a great addition to the game, honestly, especially since it doesn't really hurt anyone, and it's your choice to use it, but it is incredibly powerful, so I probably won't be using it for our flyers. But you can use the hover bug for ground vehicles, which means... I want to finally build a bike, because it gives you the ability to have just two wheels, but turn incredibly easily as if you have the hover. And I'm almost certain you can also place the hovers sideways and still have the same effect. So if they're vertical or horizontal, it will still work and give you different results. That's what we tested on before. Now I am aware that other people have already done this, and I'm certainly not early to this particular party, but what I want to do is build a flamethrower bike, which can also fly a little. That's today's goal. We're gonna be stupid. Now the question is, do we even have the wheels I want to use? Is that the one, or is there a thinner version? Aha! That's the medium of that though, isn't there? Okay, so we don't actually have the wheels we want at the moment. So what I'm going to do is either craft the wheels, or just go and do some missions and hope for the best. Because I think I would rather have these, which are a bit more extended. Oh, wow, missiles. And naturally, it's on a craft that we can't actively hit that well. Oh dear, this tree's in my way. Nature is trying to get revenge. Thankfully, we have a ridiculous amount of battery power. Okay. Seems like I've turned off with most of his weapons. No, I had lied. Stay there. There we go. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, there's something stuck underneath me. That's why I wasn't moving properly. Well, that's annoying. So rude when bits of their corpse get stuck under your wheels. There we go. Well. I'm not even sure if the large wheel is a thing. Well, the wheel type I'm after. But even if not, that's a lot of parts. Ooh, and a lot of resources as well. Thank you very much, Better Future. I'd also just done a very quick mission before this and grabbed some of them as well. Lovely. Because they now have resource blocks. There's also a new weapon as well, the um, sticky bombs, which is in experimental. So just checking out the fabricator, it seems like... The long halo wheel does not have a large variant. Really should have checked that first. Well, like I said, no real problem. We got loads of parts from that, which is great, so that's fine. Just a waste of 10 minutes of my time, and probably like 5 of yours. Well, what if we add the wheels here, and here, then we can have the hovers sort of along the side. I'm not quite sure what effect this will have, so this is more for a test. It's just placing the wheels, honestly, that's going to be the weirdest thing here. Oop, hello, yeah, well, yeah, that's definitely working. This way also needs to be balanced. Already the controls are a lot better, but we'll see in the future. Oh, hello. Oh. Yay! Stuff! I've just realised something. We already have wheels. We're a bike. That would work, right? Let's have a quick look, see. Like I say, the balance of this thing is going to be the main concern. We need it to try and stick to the ground at all times. Wheels do naturally help with that, but they're going to need more help. 
Oh, yep, that's definitely working. Then if I change this to hover mode... Yep! <laughs> you can even do wheelies with it. Okay. That's interesting. Now if I put these hovers on the back as well, would they both try to go left at the same time, or would they correctly turn the bike? No, the turning is correct, just way too extreme. But still, that's something we can work with. The balance is still really off. And it probably would be better still <laughs> to have some normally placed hovers. So if we can get those in the core, then have one of these on each wheel, then balance this thing so it doesn't tip every time it tries to turn, I think we can have a fairly functional bike. Ignoring the fact it still needs to be balanced, this is pretty amazing. So what we need to do is have some of the forward thrust keep us down as well. If we can do that, then we're good. Because at the moment, I can actually use this thing as a flyer. Not a particularly good one, which is kind of the intention, but we can use it as a flyer. And that's kind of the point though. This is going to be used for hunting down small enemy techs. And getting places because I don't want to use a normal flyer all the darn time. But yeah. Need to avoid it from doing this every now and again. <laughs> I can just hold down. The problem is it causes damage too much. Well, at least too often. Whoa, okay. So, let's change a few things up, shall we? Just proving these work even like this. Yep, they do. They definitely do. Well, it's a bit bouncy, but these definitely make this feel more like a true ground vehicle. Just with all this extra speed. And, of course, the ability to do this. Hello. Goodbye. Also, did I just nosedive a little bit? Hmm. That's pretty cool. This is going to be so fun to use when it's finished. <laughs> How am I going to make these look okay, though? These hovers at the front. I feel like no matter how I'm going to do this, they're always going to stick out a little bit. Though, maybe if I move them closer to the centre of the wheel, then it can just look like part of the wheel. Right now, it's very obviously not, and then it's more difficult to smooth them out. Now, that solves a lot of problems. Now that the connection points are there, we can smooth it out way easier. For some reason, I didn't even consider... Oh, yeah, you can place them like this. You can basically place them however you want, as long as they are facing a wheel. And because this wheel's hitbox is so large, you can kind of put them anywhere. That's going to make life much better. So what I've done now is I've removed the hover, which is trying to lift us from the center. And it's making the imbalance way more noticeable, but it's keeping us on the ground perfectly, because now all there is is one hover forcing us down. But it's still keeping the bonus speed, which is nice. And we can still fly, even though we are fighting against it, it's just even more difficult. I am such a slow builder. Just ignore all of this, I'm going to be redoing this in the next video. I'm not happy with this in the slightest, and I've decided to build this as part of the main structure. Then have two saves, one of them which is just the block creator, and then one which is the entire thing. So, this is what we want, the plasma flamers, which require all of these. None of these, thankfully, require items, which require the green crystals. Those are the only resources we can't get from scrapping items, because every time you have the green resource... It's already as part of one of the compounds. Thankfully, everything else, it seems like you can get after having a quick check. I will double check this, though, before the next video, so don't worry. I mean, that does look awesome. The 
the last thing we need to melt down, and then we have all the ingredients to spam create the flamers. Finally, using corpses to make more beautiful things. Lovely. When I build this properly, what I'm going to have is all this resource able to go back into the system when we're done. So, again, don't take this as a permanent product. It's honestly terrible. Bernie. One large gyroscope and suddenly this thing moves so much better. Turning when stationary is pretty much non-existent, which is pretty annoying, but still. Primarily, this is a transport craft, not a combat craft. It's just combat capable. Though I do think we're going to need more weapons, or at least a different type of weapon in addition to the flamers. The flamers will always be the main weapon, but we need something else. That's so fun to use. We have boosters. That's interesting, when the boosters are on, I can't fly. All that rocking then was trying to get this thing to lift. Ooh, its lift is now severely compromised, but of course that's partially because we have a hover constantly trying to force us down, which is making it way more stable, a little bit slower, and affecting our ability to fly. But again, I'm okay with that. The flying is just a nice addition. I never want it to feel like flying will be the better option. I want it to act more like a bike. Which kind of glides a little bit, but still. Probably good have done this without the hover glitch, but it makes it so much better to handle. This whole episode is just, Lathrix rides around on the salt flats, having a lot of fun, but getting very little done. So I've went ahead and re-added the top hover. This way we can fly once again a little bit easier. And our top speed is increased slightly as well. This could be way faster if it didn't have weapons and batteries and everything else. But it is becoming decent in combat. It's got quite a lot of battery power for its size. It's still a decent speed, still really fun to use. And at some point I will make a version which doesn't have weapons and shields and everything. And it's purely for speed. But for now, this is fine. It's at this moment Lathrix realises the entire time we had the speedometer from Better Future. So he could have just used that. Didn't need to make it. But now we have both. Yay. You know, I am actually really happy with how this looks. Needs a bit of neatening up here and there, but overall, yeah, it's fine. So now we have four lasers, we have four flamers. I finally moved the cab from the top, about to replace it with something else to make it look a bit more uniform. And there's not much else really we can do without changing the shape drastically. Now, what looks better? This colour scheme, or... This one. Don't know. What we could do is make some of the blocks the standard colour to try and make them pop a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to work really with how I've set this up. Not sure. What do you guys think? The darker paint scheme or the default? I can't decide. Now sadly with the weapons here, if we try and change them, all that's going to happen is they're going to become even more obviously um, different. Hello? There we go. Well, not by much anyway. Just doing a few final tests to make sure it can handle different types of terrain. It really should be able to, considering it can actually fly if it wants to.
It does hover a bit more than I would like, but that's just the cost of having both up and down hovers. But the increased speed and mobility are definitely worth it. Hello. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But a pretty minor concern. You know, I've just realized why this thing leans when I'm trying to use thrusters, and it's because we swapped over to hovercraft, which means... There we are. We have strife, and I've set it up to the same control as boosters. Whoops-a-daisy. There we go. That's better. Now to annoy everyone. Look! This battery is placed incorrectly. It's not meant to be that way around, as you can tell here, although I actually prefer that. So I may swap this one. Yeah, I'll swap this. So it's the same as the other side. There we are. Yeah, that looks way nicer having it like that. Testing out our secondary way of getting around, our flying, and yep, this thing flies just fine. Really slow on turning, but I don't want to really dedicate anything towards this because the whole point is I want to be on the ground as much as possible. So it's faster on the ground and it's better at turning, so clearly it's more of a ground vehicle than a flyer, and that's what I want. The flying needs to be secondary, otherwise there's no point of this thing even being a bike. We may as well have built just another hovercraft. It's already borderline like that anyway, purely because of how it is. You're in a really weird position being there. Can we sneak up on you? Which way's forward, though? I don't know. That way's forward, I think? Okay, let's get out the area. I think that last fight, though, really shows that this craft is a bit of a jack-of-all-trades and master of none. It's okay at everything. And honestly, yeah, pretty much everything. Long range, it's okay. Short range, it's okay. Speed is good, but not fantastic. I've definitely built much faster traveling craft. In terms of its armament, it can do decent damage, but not fantastic. It has a decent amount of batteries, but not fantastic again. And it can even fly. Okay. It can do everything. A little bit, but nothing spectacular, and I absolutely love that. So, this is definitely one of my favourite builds of all time, but I am afraid I am all out of time for today's video. So, if you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that TerraTech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, most likely, we will be building a new crafting base to attach to the main base over here, and we'll finally be building up our sky base. Or, maybe I'll just get distracted again. The important thing is, I'm having fun. So, thank you so much for watching. I do hope this video was at least somewhat entertaining, even though it was mostly just me testing out things. And have a lovely day. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Also, did I place this backwards? Well, now it's fixed.